Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to season two of Go Go Sengoku, my first unified Japan. It is finally time to unify Japan once again under one banner. Spring has finally sprung, the sakura trees are in full blossom, and I think it's time we should just get right into it, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, as you can see, we're not actually playing Sengoku like we did last time. Instead, we are playing the mod for CK2, Crusader Kings 2, that adds Japan. I shouldn't say adds Japan, it just is Japan. Oh, and some uh, funky uh, ice textures going on over there, but anyway, we're not going to concern ourselves too much with that. So, I put a lot of thought into where we want to play, because last time... We started, let me actually get to the right time, 19, not 19, 1493 is the uh, start of the Sengoku period, you know, give or take a couple of years. Anyway, we played as Nambu, I think, last time. We played as, and that didn't go so well. We uh, were forced to commit seppuku, if I remember correctly, and then we got into a war, which we lost, and then our entire family was murdered. So, hopefully we can do a little better. We're actually going to be going down here. Playing as uh, these guys right here. Not him, of course. Of course we're going to make our, our own dynamo to uh, rule Japan. Now, what I like about this mod is the portraits are actually like old-style Japanese drawings. So, you can like, you know, mess around and like, look at that. Like, ooh. That's pretty crazy. Oh. You know. Uh, that's um. I don't want this guy. Oh, yeah, that's what we. That's what. We, <laughs> that's what we want. I really can't change the clothes or background, so let's uh. Leave it at that. What do we want for a coat of arms? Uh, what's a good one? What's a good one? The fucking Triforce. From Triforce is in this. That's crazy. Ah, uh, I know this one's good. You know what? You know what? We'll make it, we'll make it red, and then we'll make it white. So it's like it's pretty much the, the imperial Japanese flag as our uh, thing. And we are going to be playing as Shiro Akujin. Shiro Akujin. There we go. And he is a he's a tough warrior with 60% fertility. And uh, what is he? He's a bit lustful, you know. He's a he's kind of a dirty man. And uh, he's, you know what? He's um he's he's pretty trusting. You know, he's a very trusting guy. And what else is he? <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a dynastic kinslayer. That's, that's what he that's what he is. Um. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you're all Kujin. There you go. The uh, Kujin clan. I don't know what any of these rules do. I don't think they do too much. I mean, Mongol invasion, I don't think that's going to happen. Turkish conquerors, I mean, you know, if we get if we get towards the end of the game and all of a sudden the, the Turks start popping up and then, uh, probably should turn that one off. But, hey, you know, I'll turn the history. Welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Okay, so here we are. The Kujin clan. As you see, there's a lot of guys. A lot of big guys. I think, if I remember correctly, yes, this guy right here, here, is the Emperor. The Shogunate. Although, as you can see, he's not, uh, not too powerful right now. So what we're going to do right now, take care of all this crap up here. Let's see, court, court physician. Some crazy outfit we're wearing. All right. Uh, we need a... Uh, Bo, bo, I'm gonna, I, you know what, I'm gonna apologize right now. 
I'm gonna butcher all these Japanese names because I am not a weeaboo. I don't spend time learning all this fucking moon crap. Ah, uh, who do we want? Uh, is there an I assume it's our Korda the Allen so oh, let's uh let's put him in here. He's a good guy. Who's on our council? This guy's on our council. But he's not happy. He's not happy. I don't know. Not gonna bother too much. Core physician, now that's what we were doing. Uh designated regent. Let's give it to this guy. Thirty four opinion. And he's our uh Yashutu, Yashutu, he's something. And a core position, you know, it'll be this guy. And uh, let's do family, because we got to get a dynasty going. It's right now, it's just us and the, um, the clan. Who do we have that we can marry? Mm, nobody? Okay, that's not really, <laughs> not a lot of options. We have a 13-year-old legitimized bastard. That's a rowdy. Uh, she's the oldest that would come of age, and everyone else is way past expiration date. I mean, they're all in their forties. We're not gonna get out of them. Uh, anybody in my court? I got no. All right, let's uh, let's go with this one. We wanted to wait a little bit though. Ambition. Ambition. Gumenator. There we are. Alright. Boost fertility. That's good. I know where to the dynasty. Title loss on decision. Yeah, yes. Special let's do it in the capital. And we have. Oh, we can place claims on these two guys right here. Because part of our, uh, our duchy? Yes, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, check that out. This is the full kingdom that we could make should we uh, get to that point. So let's, uh, let's, let's do something like that. First, let's, let's knock these guys out. Let's uh, put him. He's got 649 troops compared to our 900. And so let's, let's uh, fast forward through time a little bit. Oh, okay. That was a huge increase in troops, so I think he still got the same. Alright, that's it. That's what I want to hear. I just want to go peacefully, alright. Time for war. Now, I'm a little... Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, so we got the uh, betrothed. Now, I, I think I could do a little bit better in this game than I did with uh, Sengoku because I've played Crusader Kings 2 a whole lot, so I think uh, a lot of good stuff happened. Pretty noble from Kazunazi. Kazunazi? Kazunazi? Kenzaki? Kenzaki. Spent the week visiting Nagara, constantly bragging about his wealth and estates back home, insulting his local peers, behaving like real teacher courtiers are quite sick of him and are asking you to take action. Write a formal complaint or ignore him. Uh, I don't know who that guy is, so let's write a form oh we have fifty prestige, so let's write a formal complaint. Dear the Hakujin clan no dynamo Hakujin Shiro, I'm sorry to hear of your annoying guest, if I assure you he's not a noble. This counter if this country remains in Niagara, I hope you deal with it soon. Oh, an imposter in our. Uh, lose 100 prestige. I'm no fool. Ah, you're lying or not. Take this further. Who is this guy? Where is he? Oh, he's all the way over there. Yeah, and insult him. I don't give a shit. I mean, <laughs> dude's all the way over there. Was he gonna do send an entire fleet over there to come kill me? All right. Well, speaking of killing, let's uh, let's kill this guy. You know, he's, he's got the advantage. You've increased your martial skill while leading troops. Uh -huh. Check that out. All right. Oh, I just noticed all the troops are uh, like samurais. Oh, but they don't have a walking animation. 
pretty lame. Oh, I guess they, oh, cause they're all on like pegs, I guess. So, like, okay. That's excusable. I don't know why the, ho the, the horse is gold, though. In fact, I don't know why there's so much gold on the map. Are they supposed to be our temples? Why are the temples all golden? Well, maybe this is a design choice. I don't know. I installed everything, right? So, eh, who knows? All right, just gotta. What was guy? We're gonna do is take his, uh, take his uh, temple right here, and it's all ours. Yes. There we go. First victory, and we're gonna spend our technology in military organization. And we're going to expand our troops. And how's this guy? This guy's got like a thousand. Not even a thousand. He's got like 900 troops. And let's bring him. Let's conquer everybody that was in our uh, claimed region first. Okay, there's our army. It's like I just got home. Now you're sending us back. Oh, well, this guy's going to try to. Oh, actually, that was a good plan. Copy cast eyes of group smugglers into the coming. Damn it! Hey, we took a prisoner. Too bad it's not the uh, the guy whose land we're trying to take. If we captured him as a prisoner, that would be a hundred percent war score. Uh, he's sieging our capital right now. Why do I only got? I'm starting to think Kabiki might fancy me. Really now? Make a move. I went to Biki's chamber, gave her a good tumble. <laughs> it's good to be the dynamo. Actually, since you are 16, I'll take you as a concubine. There we go. Now we can have a couple more kids. Because we're still waiting for our wife to come of age to get some, uh, like, pure blood, I guess. Because the, uh, the kids you have a concubine, they're um they're good, but they're not like pure like hey you know, like Ah my concubine's pregnant, I'll check that shit out. And we keep getting all this technology, I guess because we fast forwarded through uh time. Let's go siege equipment and uh trade practices. Okay, before he uh, takes our capital, let's uh, let's kill him real quick. Oh, it was actually, yeah, it was actually, yeah, we need to take it to 100. There we go. Okay, vassal inheritance. Why is, um... So I'm gonna go to the... This guy dies. Gonna go to him. Doesn't have any kids. Where's this guy? This guy's over here. Wait a minute. Why can I declare war to subjugate him? But not this guy. Was well, it because we're the same rank? If they're from the same oh, if they're from the same culture group. But we're not from the same culture group. Or are we? Oh yes we are. Oh, yes. Hold on, let me let me see this. Higashi Kanto. Oh, I see they're they're Higashi Kanto. And I'm Koshin. Where are the Koshin people? Where are my fellow brothers? I don't even see him. Huh. Can I convert? Can I uh, can I change my uh cause that would make life a whole lot easier if I could uh change my culture? I think I can. Hold a feast. Ah, yes, I can. Oh, wait. Wait, a religion? No. Also, oh, so I can't change my uh, my culture. You know what? That's fine. Cause when I have a kid, I'll have him be raised by the uh, the uh, the Canto guys. Was that uh, the yeah the 
Higashi Kanto. My prisoner, Jojo Shimada, is complaining about his dark cell and his more suitable conditions. Who are you? Uh, you are underneath this guy whom I think I just beat in a war. Actually, I just beat everybody in a war. Uh, you know what? Just let him rot. You can just... Wait, now we're actually going to go speed 5 here. We're going to be blazing through this. Actually, before we start that, let's uh, get my... Oh, yeah, this guy, hate, this guy hates me. So let's not recruit him. Actually, let's fabricate a claim on this guy. It's going to be 3% every year, which is absolutely terrible, but, you know, it's better than none. We're just going to fast forward here to wait for uh, my kid to be born. And uh, for my wife to become of age. Ah, I have a new heir. Hakujin Morioto. I don't know. That's a pretty random name. What do we got? What do we got? What are some good names? Uh, you know what? Because I'm original, he's just going to have the same name as me. There we go. Hakujin Shiro. Kujinshiro is now known as Danjo no Chu. I don't know what that means. But he is going to be focused on... Focused on... Pride. Yeah, let's do that one. And important decisions. Promote... She is an official rank. Prove my honor for 100 gold. Oh, nice. I get a little samurai uh, outfit with that. Check that shit out. Hey, look at that. I get a new, uh, new, new thing. I get more prestige. And look at that. Kind of bugs me how in the, uh, the mini map in the corner over here is uh, all squished. Significantly good, good. Two gold every turn. Worrying reports have reached you regarding your gun, Bojo Toshiro Miyori. It seems he's been using your soldiers to extra money from the peasantry in Nagara. I'll uh, deal with this later. Or he's forfeited his office. Man, you can't go around taking my troops. And extorting money from the peasants and then not giving me that money. I mean, come on. You know, if you gave me some, you know, if you said, hey, man, I'm gonna use your troops, steal some money from the peasants, and then I'll throw you like a couple hundreds of gold, like you're away. But like, yeah, that's no problem, man. But you know what? You get it, man, you're out of here. I need a new, uh, new marshal. Okay, let's put him on. Uh, th that was probably a terrible move because this guy hates me, but you know, he's a powerful vassal and he's on the council. So, I mean, you know, it's. It is what it is. Ah, dangerous factions. Oh, great. Ooh. Increased council power. Aren't you on the council? No, I put the other guy on the council. Shit. Hmm. Can I bribe you? Can I offer you a concubine? Yes, I can. I don't know who this is. Here, have them. Yeah. Send gift? I don't have enough money for that. Can I plot to kill you? What I could do is I could give you money. And then I could send. I can release that prisoner and then give him some money to get off my back. Hopefully. Ah, shit. God damn it. I just wasted all that money. Alright. Well, I mean, they obviously are going to beat me in this war, so. Uh, I guess the council gets more power. Fuck. That's not what I wanted. Betrothed. Oof, man. Oh, she's ugly. But, uh. I'm not gonna marry her for her looks, you know what I'm saying? Oof. Ooh, anyway, that's, um. 
That's actually all the time we have for this episode. Uh, let's see what's going on in the rest of Japan so far. It doesn't look like anything changed. How's your good pal Nambu doing? Nambu is actually expanded. Huh, interesting. I'm going to keep checking in on Nambu because we, uh, we have like a spiritual tie with them. It's like we were the Nambu in another life. At least I think we were. Pretty sure we were playing as Nambu. I'm not entirely sure about that one. Anyway, that's, uh, that's episode one of Go 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 Sengoku season two. I hope to see you guys next time.